Hello everybody, welcome back to another ServiceWorks video tutorial. My name is Will Freeman and today we'll be talking about adding a customer to your ServiceWorks account. So, how do we do this? There are two different places we can go to add a customer. You can either just hover over customer, click customers, and then you'll find this new button up at the top right corner and you can press new and it'll take you to the new customer page or to get there even quicker, you just click on add new and new customer. And so those two buttons take us to the same place. Um, here's the customer page, the customer creation page. So you type in a first name, a last name, an email, phone number, this phone number, when you click out of it, automatically becomes the account number for the customer. You don't have to keep it as their phone number. If you press this pencil, you can change it to be absolutely anything that you want. You just press done. And now that's the account number. So you might have a different system, <laughs> excuse me, than um, the phone number. And that's how you would adjust that. Down here, this number of rooms, pet details, test, these are actually custom fields that are totally configurizable for your own account. So if you want to change that, you press on this configuration wheel. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. You click customer right here and then custom field. And you can see here's test, here's pet details, here's number of rooms. Um, if I wanted to edit them, I would just type something new. I'm not going to because it would lose the data that we've already typed in. I would have to refresh the page to show it to you, but that's how you would change that. Um, so you can make that absolutely anything you want for your account, um, or you can make it nothing. You don't have to put them in. If you want to add a customer note, like um, garage code, or you know some particular piece of information for that customer, you just put it in the note. Down here we've got the name, email address, phone number. Here's where you type in the address. Right here it says both. That means that this one address is both the billing address and the customer address. If for some reason, they have two addresses or uh, there are two contacts, like maybe it's uh, the son of Arnold Palmer is Jerry Palmer. And Arnold wants to pay for Jerry to get his house cleaned. Arnold would get the bill. We'd send the invoice to this email and the technician would get this address on their app um, to you know the app would send them to the customer address so the bill would go to the billing address and the technician would go to the customer address so you just press this add new address button right here to make a second address or a third address or a fourth address that comes more into play with property management, which I'll show you in another video. So let me delete these and let's just keep one address for this customer. And we'll say both. So we've got a note. We've got the address in. You can add finance charges to this customer if they don't pay their invoice within 30 or 60 or 90 days and you've set it up and you've set up those finance charges in the configuration. You can give a customer a credit limit. You can merge a customer with an already existing customer. If you can combine their details. And you can adjust tax information. So maybe you service an area that has multiple um, 
you know, taxes, maybe different counties have different taxes. Maybe you're right on the edge of two states and somebody's in Illinois and somebody's in Missouri. You can adjust that particular tax information for that customer there, or maybe they're tax exempt for some reason. And so that is all we need to create a customer. Here we've got that. And then when we go to this customer page and we type in the name, Arnold Palmer, we can easily create a job just by searching the customer. So here's Arnold, here's the account number that we customized. And to create a job for Arnold, you just hover over these three dots. You click new job or new estimation and you click new job. And here we've got a new job form with Arnold's information already filled in. So that's creating a customer in ServiceWorks. Thanks a lot for listening.